Hey guys, in this tool review, I want to talk to you about this little guy right here. This is the Milwaukee M12 Fuel Hatchet. It's a pruning saw. Recently released, it is super portable, maneuverable, compact mini chainsaw. They dub it the Hatchet. Um, kind of a cool little name, right? Uh, it, it can cut up to three inches in hardwood. It delivers up to 120 cuts on a four amp hour battery. Certainly a welcome and interesting addition to the outdoor power equipment tool market. It weighs less than five pounds, it runs off the M12 battery, and it features a six inch Oregon bar and chain. The chain leverages a full house design with a cutter on every drive link as opposed to every other link that you might see on a standard chain. This full house design, it delivers cleaner cuts with less vibration. Now the tool also features an automatic oiler, easy access chain tensioner, metal bucking spikes, and onboard storage wrench. Both Toolbox Buzz crew member Jeff Williams and I played around with this tool. We did a review on it together, like a dual review. Um, after using the hatchet, four words come to mind. Compact, portable, powerful, and strange. <laughs> the M12 hatchet is about the strangest and coolest chainsaw that we've seen and used yet. First of all, it is incredibly comfortable to use and it feels just like an extension of your hand. Just goes right off your hand, it's unbelievable. Jeff feels that hacksaw users will understand this right away when they pick it up. They're just used to that feel. He says it just feels right in your hand. And I don't disagree, Jeff's right on that. The hatchet is incredibly comfortable. It's comfortable to use and that's mostly because we've been using the hacksaw for about five years or so, so we're used to that feel. It follows the same form factor as a hacksaw, except that it has a bar and chain uh, where a reciprocating saw blade usually resides. The other difference is the top handle guard right here. Um, placing your hand here isn't really necessary, but it does ensure that your hand can't slip into the blade, and um, which is a great wraparound safety design. Most of the time, we found ourselves operating the saw one-handed, like a hacksaw, with the other uh, stabilizing, other support hand stabilizing a tree or a branch or something like that. The saw is optimized to cut three inches in wood and smaller diameter branches and, and, and small trees, uh, and you can use your hand to support it, one-handed, you can control it. Now, if you're listening to this and you're struggling about how would I maybe use this beauty of a saw, let me present you with two scenarios that I think are killer applications for this particular tool. So the first is camping and trails. This thing is small, light, portable, and certainly capable. Perfect for camping, help gather wood, cut firewood, clear trails, clear a path for a campsite. Clearing and maintaining trails is what we use the saw for mostly. Um, it is, it easily strapped to the front fender of our dirt bike so that you could access it, access it and maintain the trails while you're out on a ride. It was great. Now, pruning in your yard is another reason. One of the best features of this saw is that it can be used one-handed. That means that you can easily maintain your three points of, of contact on a ladder when using it. You know, set your ladder up on a tree, climb up, hold on, prune, whatever. Um, we also use the hatchet in, in my yard in particular because we had a big storm uh, left over from the hurricane. Lots of branches and trees down. It has excellent power and cuts fast just a little mini saw, it's great. As far as improvements, I would, I would advise Milwaukee, the first thing I need to say about it is it just needs to be on the M M18 platform. I mean, much like the M18 fuel hacksaw that took four years to come out, um, look, I'm not disappointed with the M12 power. You just have to be mindful that you gotta let the tool do the cutting. You can't bear into this. If this was an M18 platform, I'm guaranteeing you there'd be way better performance, uh, more runtime and obviously there'd be more uh, cost and, and weight, but I think it'd be worth it on that platform. This thing's gonna sell for about $249 as a kit at Home Depot. And my overall impression, the hatchet is cool. It's strange looking, but it's cool. As a mini chainsaw, it is compact, powerful, and portable. We see this tool filling a void in OPE with pro pruning tasks. It gives, it's gonna give professional landscapers a small and powerful mini chainsaw that's gonna get into tighter spots like ornamental trees, Japanese maples, or shrubbery, or something like that. 
So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, please don't forget to follow us, follow Toolbox Buzz and Concord Carpenter on Instagram. I'm Rob Roblard. We'll see you at the next tool review here at Toolbox Buzz.